If you could go back to your first day in business and give yourself one piece of advice, what would it be and why? Get really, really comfortable with being uncomfortable. I, um, that's something that I had to learn the hard way. I, I really did avoid things that made me uncomfortable. I think part of the reason that I built so many t-shirt businesses is because I thought actually, like I, I knew a little bit about t-shirts. And so I just kept like, there were a bunch of different iterations of the same product, which were t-shirts. I mean, one was wholesale and promotional products. One was retail and, and licensed t-shirts, but they were all t-shirts. And I think if I would have stuck with on that path, I never would have had the opportunity to help build, you know, what is now, you know, uh, one of the largest companies in the country, one of the largest technology companies on the planet. Um, but actually by putting myself in a position of um, uncertainty and, and being uncomfortable, it forced me to get really good at understanding technology and software. And, and, you know, I'll never write a code because there's people much better at me than writing code, but I had to understand the business of Shopify really well in order for me to be a leader at Shopify. Uh, I don't, I do not think that was what, I don't think I had that innately in me. I was curious, but I went, I, I would take the comfortable route. And I actually think that, that the magic really happens when you step outside that, that, that area. Um, which is also why I think so many people end up starting businesses with co-founders I'm talking about with friends of theirs, high school friends, you know, friends they meet in college or afterwards or childhood friends. It's because it's comfortable. However, most of your friends, especially your, your closest friends that you're going to start a business with, um, they're probably kind of like you because they're your friends and you have a lot in common. Your Venn diagrams overlap in terms of interests and backgrounds. Maybe you grew up in the same place. Or maybe you went to the same school. Um, I actually think a far better way to choose a co-founder or a business partner is to find someone who's nothing like you. And you know, just using the academic example, if you're in law school, don't go start a business with someone else in law school. Walk across the campus and start a business with someone in engineering or someone in arts or someone in political science. Um, and, and, and I think that's a, you know, I think that's a really, really important, um, for me, that was a really important lesson. Hey, Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.